For almost four decades, the M1 Abrams battle tank has proved to be an unwavering force in U.S. armored combat vehicles, refusing to be phased by the modernization efforts of other nations. Moreover, the Abrams has demonstrated time and time again its ability to adapt to new challenges with its reliability, adaptability, and sheer fear-inducing presence. Even so, the U.S. has faced increasing pressure as its adversaries deploy state-of-the-art fourth-generation battle tanks like the Russian T-14 Armada. But as the U.S. looks into the future, General Dynamics has claimed to have the solution with its recently unveiled next-generation hybrid Abrams X prototype. The design promises to keep everything that has made the Abrams so successful while equipping it with groundbreaking technology and making it lighter to address some of the platform's shortcomings. Moreover, it will be the first time a U.S. main battle tank will make extended use of artificial intelligence to accomplish feats that are impossible for human operators. An American icon. The extensive deployment of the M1 Abrams to several U.S. Army divisions across the globe is a constant testament to its formidable engineering. The M1 is a massive and destructive force, weighing in at a whopping 70 tons, but still managing to operate relatively silently, earning it the nickname of the Whispering Death. The mechanical giant is powered by a Honeywell AGT-1500 gas turbine engine, which gives it a top speed of over 45 miles per hour and an acceleration of 0 to 20 miles per hour in just 6 seconds. The weight of the M1 tank can be attributed to its thick and resilient armor, which includes Chobham protection. It's one of the first modern tanks to incorporate such shielding. Chobham armor is a composite shield made of ceramic tiles encased within a metal framework and bonded to a backing plate and several elastic layers. The precise formula for constructing this armor remains a closely guarded secret to this day. The Abrams, also known as the Beast, is armed with a formidable 120mm main gun, capable of reaching targets over 2,500 meters away, and has three hull-mounted machine guns, including a 50 caliber Browning gun and two M40s. The tank's armament is managed by a state-of-the-art fire control system, capable of adjusting fire parameters according to gun inclination, terrain, wind, and weather conditions to achieve the highest possible accuracy. In addition, the main gun can launch several ammunition types, including three depleted uranium rounds, which can shatter any armored vehicle that dares face it in battle. Moreover, the M1 is designed to protect its crew from biological and chemical attacks. All the air inside the vehicle is filtered through a unique vent that keeps toxic substances away from the team, ensuring they can continue to operate at maximum efficiency, regardless of the conditions. These features have made the Abrams a symbol of American engineering and the backbone of U.S. armored capabilities, and they are the attributes General Dynamics wishes to preserve as it seeks to evolve the tank into a next-generation platform of limitless combat potential. AI-powered beast Picture the following scenario. In the near future, on a war-torn Eastern European battlefront, a detachment of enemy combatants silently awaits the approach of an American armored platoon. With several roadside mines and anti-tank positions along the tank's trajectory, the infantrymen are confident they will quickly neutralize the American forces. However, they are in for a surprise. Leading the platoon is an Abrams X hybrid tank. Unbeknownst to the ambushers, the tank is continuously connected to a network of high-flying reconnaissance drones that surveyed the area long before the vehicles descended on the location. The Abrams X's crew is aware of the enemy positions and the developing ambush, so the four tanks spread out to surround the enemy positions, and the ambushers unleash their attack, realizing their efforts have been discovered. The hybrid tank immediately begins to unleash depleted uranium rounds from its 120mm XM360 gun at the location where the drones pinpointed the enemy positions to be. And as their emplacements are shattered, the enemy is forced to retreat. But then the unexpected happens, and the Abrams X triggers a roadside mine. The detonation shakes the tank's crew to their core and disables the vehicle's tracks, leaving the tank as a sitting duck in the middle of the battlefield. 
The enemy seizes the opportunity to concentrate their anti-tank fire on the damaged Abrams X. The crew inside the vehicle is still shaky from the detonation, and they cannot identify the incoming attack. Fortunately, the Abrams X has another capable operator that was not hurt by the mine, its powerful AI system. As the computer identifies the incoming projectiles, the tank's active protection system blasts an array of metal pellets that destroy the incoming threats before they can reach the tank's hull. The remaining American tanks then suppress the rest of the enemy's positions and are forced to rout. The crew inside the Abrams X recovers from the initial blast and continues to man its stations. The ambush was successfully countered. This is what General Dynamics hopes its new AI-powered technology can bring to the battlefields of the near future, where highly trained machines can take over in crucial moments, as the crew is unable to respond or react quick enough. Inside the machine. To fulfill its ambitious promises, the Abrams X is fitted with groundbreaking technology and equipment that will drastically change the scope and reach of what an American tank can do in a combat zone. In particular, the tank is designed to be much lighter and faster than its predecessor, the M1 Abrams. Despite weighing over 70 tons, the M1 is a responsive and speedy main tank. However, the new tank achieves even greater agility and maneuverability by significantly reducing its weight and equipping it with a state-of-the-art hybrid engine system that can switch from a diesel engine to an electric motor, depending on the situation. With the increased acceleration provided by the electric motor, a lighter frame, and the stability and range of the diesel engine, the Abrams X promises to far surpass the 42 miles per hour maximum speed of its predecessor while achieving unparalleled agility and responsiveness on the battlefield. The crew inside the tank will also be reduced, as several of its weapon stations will be controlled remotely, keeping servicemen away from danger and making the tank even lighter. Moreover, with an advanced electro-optical sensor array with 360-degree situational awareness, the new Abrams will have unmatched dominion over its surroundings, and the crew inside will always be aware of any possible threats. However, even if the crew cannot respond to an incoming attack, the sensors will be connected to the tank's AI-powered computer, which will identify and prioritize targets based on their threat level and respond accordingly to keep the crew safe at all moments. In an effort to make it lighter, the Abrams X will be fitted with the more lightweight 120mm XM360 gun as its main armament, along with a remote-controlled weapon station with a 30mm cannon and a 7.62 machine gun. But despite being lighter, the new tank will be equipped with some of the most advanced armor protection systems in the world, enabling it to withstand advanced anti-tank weapons. The tank will also be able to traverse more diverse terrains, cross more bridges and obstacles, and fit onto more transport platforms, while also reducing the tank's fuel consumption and logistical burden, making it more sustainable and cost-effective. In addition, it will have a hybrid engine, an auto-loader, and other advanced features to enhance its firepower, survivability, and stealth. Ultimately, the Abrams X tank will be a formidable force on the battlefield that can outmatch any potential adversary. Thank you for watching Dark Tech. For more incredible military tech developments, subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell. And if you want to delve into some of the most extraordinary battles in modern warfare history, check out our other Dark Documentaries channels, where we publish regularly. Stay tuned.